Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get into this. Proof businesses are going broke, right? And what is really amazing, because I'm kind of going to go back. I'm not going to really, you can, you know, you can see the channel. You can come back and check out the video. It's looking at these discount, the, the comments. The economy's dying a slow death. We've been in a recession. I made the mistake of having breakfast at Denny's yesterday. Two bacon, two eggs, toast, awful hash browns, one cup of coffee, 24 bucks. 375 for a cup of coffee. Never again. Took my wife to a little hole in the wall down a Reuben sandwich, steak hoagie. Both sandwiches came with potato chips, ice water for drinks. My wife asked me how, how much everything, $30 with the tip. She used to love to go there to eat. She's over it. I graduated high school in 2008. My whole life has been a recession. Witnessed foreclosures in the old Midwest neighborhood. Don't waste any money on the $7 card for Mother's Day. That looked at for five seconds and thrown in the trash. Cars are such a ripoff. Things are going to be far worse than most people willing to admit in public for fear of creating a panic. Forget recession. It's worse than that. Why is it when someone offers positive criticisms towards current economic state around the globe, it's automatically considered someone from a cult? Miles, Michael's doing an excellent job as always. My friend went to SeaWorld today. She couldn't even believe what they wanted for a bottle of ice cream or chicken nuggets. People pay for it. Folks, the only way we can fight. Now, if you just go down the list, all of the comments, uh, like here, my friend works at the bank and they're proactively closing the accounts. They don't even have a balance of the account holder. It's considered a high risk. These people don't even know it until they go to use the card and it's declined. Banks are in full panic mode. Uh, I get talk, I get, let's talk insurance, Florida, my old condo on the beach in Naples, back in 2020, I was paying 1100 I sold it in the spring of 2020, the new new owners are now paying 6 d 100 for the same coverage in 2024. I mean, you just go down and go down and down, and literally, it is all of these negative comments. It's all of these negative comments. I believe that businesses are going broke. I spent $15 last week just for absolute necessities. Normally buy, you know, once again. Now, here's something that we need to get into. All right. So based upon this video and, you know, one of the things we can do, like uh, I'm not mad at Michael. Michael's a pretty smart guy. Um, and you will go here. And you will literally see his videos are doing extremely well. Can't pay the rent. Worst it's ever been. The numbers don't lie. Housing market trouble. Can't afford a new one. This is not reality. Stay at your own risk. Good luck getting hired. It's not Wall Street. Please, please fast forward. Now, this is what's funny. Now, I'm, I'm about to show you something. I'm, I'm about to show you a lot of stuff. So we're going to do this. And we're going to go to Social Blade. So we're going to kind of look at why Michael does what he does. Michael used to be, I, I, I guess he's still a real estate agent. So he gets 6.6 .6 million views. Now, uh, he does shorts. Let's see how many shorts does he do. Let's see when it was Here's his last I... short was um, one month ago. So, you know, mostly he's getting like 5 million long form views, which is probably putting, I'm going to say, thirty to $50,000 per month, maybe more, maybe more in his pockets. Like I said, Michael used to be a real estate agent and he stopped doing real estate because he's making so much money from YouTube. And once again, like I said, I'm not mad at Michael. I'm not mad at him at all. But here's the thing. Mom, get me some food. I mean, essentially, all of the videos have a very negative connotation. Um, this one, people have stopped paying their bills. 1.6 million views. Proof everyone is going broke. 865,000 views. Fast food layoffs are here. Thousands losing their jobs. 
avoid moving to Florida at all costs, 14 new reasons. Now, this is what I'm saying. Th th this is what's really, really interesting. He lives in Florida. Now, he makes so much money from YouTube that he and his wife was able to go to California and some other places and stay for weeks. Stay for weeks. And once again, uh, like you, you pop on the video, right? I chose wicks. And uh, we're not going to watch it. Go to the comments. If only the entire nation would stop paying their taxes. Let's be real. This is all by design. People went to war like 5% taxation. People now paying roughly 30% income tax plus all their purchase and property. We failed ourselves by letting taxes increase. It's cheaper for my family to buy a round trip plane ticket to Bulgaria where my wife is from and get medical and dental procedures done there. Then to drive to the doctor down the road and get trinket. This country's a joke. The leaders in this country look like people stealing software while the Titanic sinks. I mean, literally, you can go to any video. I made 60K last year. I have completely given up on even able to afford a house. I would just continue to work and live in my apartment until I get proud of living in an apartment and then become homeless. Homeless has 60K a year. What a joke. Like, literally. This is the con. This 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 is the content of all. I mean, you will not find one positive comment in the his videos. Not one. Never confuse having credit with actually having money. The more we don't fight corruption, the more we deserve the outcome. I mean, literally, you could just scroll down and. One of the things you'll notice is Michael doesn't answer any of his comments. He he doesn't answer is like here here's something. My wife was a professional and my wife is a professional violinist and plays at weddings, parties, and privates. They just passed a bill here in South Carolina. I'm not sure if it's going nationwide yet. But this one is sign that was coming. A 15% entertainment tax now. Musicians now have to legally deduct this from their paycheck on the spot. No more 1099s be handed out income tax time. And 15% is a ridiculous amount. After she takes out her gas parking for a three-hour gig of the weather, she's now left with about 70 bucks. America's going backwards. Where's the incentive to work anymore? We have out-of-control inflation, totally unaffordable housing, we have to be living on another planet or multimillionaire if you you can't see or feel what's happening here. Now, that comment got like literally, you will not find one positive comment, not one. Now, we know why Michael does this. Like like I said, Michael could be making 30, 40, 50. Michael could be making 100K a month. Because I'm telling you, he's making money because he has stopped being a real estate agent. He has stopped. He has stopped. And then when you go into the whole content, because this is what I call the 80 percent. Let's give it a name. The 80 percent. Um, the 80 percent loves to see a reflection of the lives that they're living. Now, I put up a video now. We do not have a housing crash. Once again, we don't have a housing crash. We have a housing affordability issue. And this is where people are going wrong with this crash nonsense. The average person cannot afford a house based upon one of the, the, the things. And I'll probably do a whole video on this because one of the reasons why do, why do we have such massive inflation? During the pandemic, the government pumped so much money, like 80 percent of the dollars that have been printed were printed in like two years during the recessions. And like literally like l let's look at this one. Let's look at the content and let's kind of Monday.com is the kind of get into. Um, so. Let's go ahead once again. They jacked the price of 70 percent, lowering them 30 percent. It's all a con. As a Walmart cashier, I can still see people buying crap with money they don't even have. Once again, facts. 
When you say money they don't have, are they using credit cards or debit? My point is to know how money they don't have. Example, I don't spend for necessities in this money I do have. Get my point? Money or credit cards. I mean, they went in on that. They went in on that. And like literally, this is the 80%. Now, one of the things I want you guys to notice is no one's coming up with solutions. You can literally, like, like once again, I'm going to, this is his name. You can go to his YouTube channel and literally check out any video. Um, and this one, I think he shows his wife. She's an attractive lady. Let's see. So I think she was in the video. Uh, yep. So Michael is making 30, 40, 50, 60, who, who knows, maybe 100K a month. And he does this on his iPhone. All his videos. Now, I think, yeah, I think that's the wife. And because uh, he'll he'll mention her. And they literally have enough money. I want you to really, really think about this. Uh, they have enough money to go to California for two or three weeks. I think he went for four weeks. He was traveling. Stay in the hotel for four weeks. Do videos. Does that sound like a bad life? Does that sound like a bad life? Because essentially, you know, once again, I'm not hating at Michael. I don't hate him. You know, he, he's got a really good thing going. I, I don't hate people who have figured out a system. But what I'm trying to actually talk to you guys about is the thing. And let's see. No one can find a good job right now. Let's go here. And let's see what that looks like. 172,000. And let's see. Let's kind of get into it. Real story here. Got an interview and was excited and armed with 20 years of welding and fabricating experiences. I knew I was going to get the job. After the interview, the shop supervisor told me he'd be calling me soon. I didn't think nothing about it. I went out on my way a week and a half, went by no call. I called back and asked about the job. The shop supervisor said to me over the phone, I'm going to be real with you. I don't think the owner wants to hire you because you're overqualified and you'll be underpaid if you're willing to accept low wage. After the conversation with the shop supervisor, I came to the conclusion that business owners don't want to pay employees for what they're worth instead of hire someone off the streets for cheap. At this day and age, if you have trade skills, the older you get, the harder it is for you to find a job unless you know someone who can pull you in. Why doesn't anyone question why colleges and universities are so expensive? Like, literally, like, I want you guys to go to Michael's channel and just really go through the comments for each and every video. Each and every video. They know we're in a recession. They will wait as long as possible. Then they would come out and say, actually, it was a recession a year ago. Now, let's, let's, let's kind of go ahead and go to GDP first quarter. Twenty twenty four. So real gross domestic process increased to an annual rate of one point six. All right. So let's go to GDP. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go second quarter because we're now in the third quarter. Second quarter. We saw growth two quarters in a row. So officially, we're not in a recession. We have high inflation, but we're not in a recession because the economy is growing. They're adding more jobs. But if you go back here, they know we are in the recession. They will wait as long as possible. They will come out and say, actually, we we're in a recession a year ago. I'm a mechanic and been self-employed for 27 years. I make good money and eat well, always have. The trades have always been good to people. Now, this is this is a positive comment, right? And smart physical jobs are not good. Boom, except in every recession for a couple of years after, which rates get absolutely wrecked beyond belief. During every recession, I always got work. People want repaired and they're replaced. Like he's in here commenting. 
how's your retirement funded painter here and I'm 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 a, I'm a rich person not complaining so you got people in here trying to inject positive comments and they are being challenged and can't believe the haters here. Be happy for you, my fellow man. If you're broke, more than likely you're the ones hating. We need trades more than ever. But most of all, well, let me go ahead and tell you something. Like as someone who used to own a car rental business, mechanics are very hard to find. I was going, let, let me show you a place I was going. Euro Fed. This is where I had my... Um, uh, kill switch is installed, right? And the guy, his name is Mickey, who owns it. He's the owner. Um, he actually would go to places and offer 10, 15 mechanics above average income. A really good mechanic now is making 80 to $120,000 a year. So these people who are fighting with this mechanic they're fight because like right now to be a mechanic and today is very, very hard to replace. They're literally people are snatching up mechanics, paying them more money. Mechanics are very, very well paid. And these people are fighting with him, even though he's a mechanic, because you know why they're fighting with him. They don't know the market. They have no understanding of the market. And why don't they have any understanding of the market? Instead of seeking solutions, all they want to do is complain. They don't want to find a solution. They don't want to find a solution. These, and this is the 80%. I was laid off in February 2024. I have seven years of experience as a front-end software the engineer, but I still haven't been able to find a job. Most jobs have over 200-plus applications, with some people having thousands of applications. The job numbers are a lot, and why are the HBO workers allowed to stay when Americans can't find a place to work? Now, let, let's, let's, kinda, let, let's, let's go back here. And, you know, I, I made this comment, right? Remember this period where people were quiet quitting, quiet quitting, right? One year ago, all these people were quiet quitting. They had jobs and they weren't doing the jobs. Now, once again, this is what I said. The employers have the keys. Why do employers have the keys? Because they have the money. And I don't care how much you can convince yourself that the employees, like literally after the pandemic, um, they had a situation where people were able to quiet quit and get away with it. Notice that didn't last that long. Notice that only last a little bit, right? Lasted just a little bit. Just like now. <laughs> I was laid off February 2024. So once again, you know, if you want to stay and be a part of the 80 percent, let's see how much time we have here. OK, good. So if you want to be part of the 80 percent and you want to keep complaining, because literally and let's see. Oh, here's one. Uh, I'm a doctor. I went back to school later in life, graduated at age 38. I have just one employed employee. I have one just employee, my husband. I didn't want to work for the big venture capital groups in my field. So I work independently. I stock the rooms and all the clay to instruments, not worth have the employees that complain and call and sit while I peck up the slack or better yet, middle of assistants or receptionists that want to tell me how to do my job. I keep my overhead low. That's the only way I stay in business. No manager see that there's a need in healthcare for sure. We're still reimbursing rates from 20 years ago and rent and supplies at least double. That's why most doctors for big groups now, it's become a business. I, I, I would say that's true. I would say that's true. Uh, it's very hard to be an independent doctor. Uh, I was laid off in my job back in October last year as a serious senior IT person. I've been able to find a, I haven't been able to find a job yet. This country went from no new jobs for many months and right now, I'm starting to see a trickle of job opens. A lot of jobs listed on job boards are 100% fake. I don't know if this is for information mining or identity theft, but there's lots of jobs that are completely fake. I applied for one job a few months back, and the company told me 
that a thousand people apply for the position. One thousand. My old savings graces, I'm completely debt free and have no debt whatsoever. So my cost of living is extremely low and I can wear the storm a lot better than most. All right. So, you know, people are like quiet quitting, right? Quiet quitting. Once again, once again, the employers have the money. And th th this, this whole notion that you can just go to a job and do the lease and pretty much expect to be, um, you know, crazy. Anyone believe the employment rate is 3.8%? Let me explain to you what's going on. Employment rate. So we're not in a recession, right? And the employment rate is 3.9. May 3rd of 2024 is 3.9. Now, here's something that's really, really interesting. When you go to employment rate, rate of 2009, in December 2007, the national employment rate was 5.6%. It has been a blood rate for previous 30 months. At the end of the recession in June 2009, it was 9.5%. In the months after the recession, the employment rate peaked at 10% in October 2009. So let me tell you what's different. And let me tell you why the 80% is complaining. TikTok. We didn't have TikTok in 2009. Uh, let's see. Just go to TikTok and put in. Somebody sleeping in my All righty. I don't know what that's about. So we can go bad economy, right? And what you will see. Let's see. She ride date like a carnival. Then over having flashbacks, she gonna heat me up like a carnival. It's the way I pop my shit. She ride date like a carnival. Okay. Then over having flashbacks. There we go. So this right here is why we have so many people in the eighty percent just complaining and complaining and complaining. I can mog an edge all of Ohio. Complaining. I am going to be. True Sigma officer. Okay. Die. You will die. Now, one of the things you will see. Um... All right. I don't know what that's about. Bad economy. Because if you go to YouTube and let's see. Find one. Hmm. I really don't do a lot of TikTok, so I don't know a whole lot about what's going on. How but. short is too short? Too short in a guy. Respectfully, I'm from. So this is all right. So once again, I don't really know how TikTok works because I don't really spend a lot of time on it. But essentially, you probably have to go and get on the app on your phone to find all of the bad content videos where people are talking about how bad the content is going on and on and on. So this is one of the things you will consistently see. Like once again, go to Michael. Once again, I'm not I'm not hating. Don't start attacking Michael and nothing like that. Don't do any of that. But what I want you to understand is that the 80% is a group of people who are hell-bent on complaining about their situation, complaining about prices, complaining about stuff. And these folks don't want a solution, all right? Like, literally, I know this for a fact going on with auto mechanics because I was in the car rental business. Good auto mechanics are hard to find. Good auto mechanics are making money, but they wanted to fight with this man and start pestering him because, you know, another thing I've seen with the 80 percent is they don't want to do the work to improve their lives. They just simply 
do not want to do the work. They just don't. They want to learn. And this is why Michael and other people, and I'll be doing other review video reviews, are making so much money off of these people watching their videos. Because these folks don't want to do anything. They don't want to, they don't want to build anything. They don't want to create anything. They just simply want to complain. That's all they want to do is complain. Because, you know, um, these restaurants they eat at, I don't eat at them, so I don't know what the prices are. But, you know, the, thanks to the government providing stimulus checks and all these other things, this is one of the things. Now, this is something that you can see. If you go back three years ago, buying, selling, and renting Florida real estate, three years ago, his video views were 31,000, 3,000, 7,000, 7,000, 7,000. Let, let's kind of go back to the beginning before he got on this, um, the oldest. If you go back to his first videos, he wasn't getting those kind of views. And this is when he was still a real estate agent. He was still a real estate agent during this time. And you will see in the beginning, four years ago, 180 views. Um, he wasn't making the kind of money he's making now. And, you know, at this point, Michael was trying to find his footing, find his footing. Four years ago, he didn't get it. You know, if you see, there was no negative content. There was none, right? And... Is Graham Stephan wrong about gold? He, he, this guy was literally trying to find his footing, right? And we'll go back, go back, go back. And you can see, you know, he had some videos that did well, but nothing like his current videos. Nothing like his current videos. So he's um, living in Florida beachside on a budget. At this point, Michael was making $50,000 a year. Michael's making $50,000 a month now, if not more. Now, why won't you see that? Now, this is, Michael is a very, very smart guy. Michael will not show you signs of wealth. Why? Why will Michael not show you signs of wealth? Like I said, don't attack Michael. Don't go after Michael. Michael's a really, really smart guy, right? And he knows that if he started to pop off in a Ferrari or a Porsche or something, his audience would lose their minds. He knows this because he knows who his audience is. And this is one of the things that he's figured out. Because when we get into the latest videos, 114,000, 143, 124, He only has 197,000 subscribers. So his videos are getting views, 280. 111, 172, 132, 178, literally 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we have to go back 13 videos. In this video, he just got under 100,000 views. He got 95. Then before that, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, we, we, we. another one. Almost 100. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two. So the vast majority of Michael's videos get over 100K views. Michael is making probably fifty to sixty thousand dollars per month, but once again, Michael will never show it because he can't. He cannot show how much money he's really making. He can't because this group of people will literally turn. They will literally turn on him. They will lose his mind. He would lose a lot of subscribers if he started showing signs of how economically well he was doing. He would lose subscribers. Um, I canceled Netflix. Netflix. Um, 
I don't even know how much Netflix is. Netflix subscription costs. How much is Netflix? I think I pay 15 bucks a month. So I canceled Netflix 15 bucks a month after they put in unacceptable when you're paying for a service. 15 bucks a month. Companies don't get. Once again, I mean, you can go through his videos and you will see the negativity rolling. And once again, I don't think Michael's a negative person, but one of the things you would consistently see is the 80 percent. This group of people. They don't really want to improve. Let's see. I'm a boomer. In 1967, I had my first communist teacher in the American school. He was young and fresh out of college. He was teaching the communist manifesto. <laughs> uh, let's see. American. I tried to inform my parents who didn't believe me and called me a rebel after ninth grade. I dropped out because education was gone, replaced by indoctrination. I made the right decision. I did well because other people taught me and I respected them and I have no debt and live well below for now, what really expected a planned disaster. What's happening now is planned destruction. And most of us have been played by the leftist long game. Communists, when I was a kid, boasted they would hang us with the rope we purchased on credit. Looking like they were right and young people now don't have a clue to what's being done to them. Voting for free stuff is going to end badly. Those who believe they will come out of the top for betraying the others will learn they won't need be needed anymore and find themselves in the pits with their victim. Historically, it happens every time. This is the commentary that you get. He believes in you know, uh, conspiracy things. Well, this is the 80%. This is what's going on. And this is why if you're going to come to YouTube, and you make any positive comment. Uh, let's go to YouTube. Let's go back. Let's see. Let's go to Bendel Williams. I think that's his name. Nope. Did not bring him up. Um, Uh, let's see. Once again, let me just pop out of that channel, switch account, because he will pop up on this channel. And go to home. And let's see. I should be subscribed to him. Uh, oh, Levo. there he is. Now, go to his channel. He gets way less views. And he's talking about solutions. He's talking about solutions. And he gets way less views. Because he's talking about solutions. And the 80% doesn't want to care 80% of these folks don't care about solutions. All they want to do is complain, whine, and they want the country to crash. They literally want to crash so they can get stuff cheaply. And, you know, uh, I was actually commenting with Latell, and he answered back. Uh, hit that. It's like, because, like, you know, I, I'll even be talking about that stuff next month or stuff like that. But essentially, you got people out here who just do not want to be successful. They don't want to work. They, you know, this man right now working 13 hours, making 630 a day and men's focus on success will always pay a price. This video has 2,000.4 views. Now we go back to this. Michael's got 280,000 views six days ago. 
of people who want to complain. Of people who want to complain. That's all you're going to see on the majority of his channel is 99% complaining, people bemoaning. This is what you're going to see. And this is the 80%. This is the group of people who make the TikTok videos. I'm sorry I couldn't show you that because, like I said, I don't really know how to operate TikTok. So, But this is what you see. This is the whole thought process. This is um, what's going on. So we'll be having some more videos talking about why negative content is so fascinating. And uh, I will take you to this and you should get this book. All right. Let's see. Let's go to up side. Let's go to demo graphics. You need more. Get this book. This book will break it down. A lot of stuff that I just went over. Why does negative content do so well on YouTube? Because that is a large audience. It's a huge audience of people. It's massive. Get this book. All right. So that's all I got for this video. I will have some more very, very soon.